Welcome back to Jaeger Racing and today we're going to change the oil on the Mustang. Alright guys, so obviously you guys know I track the Mustang a little bit, I drive the Mustang on the street, and basically what that means is I'm not quite going to go with the manufacturer's recommendations. Uh, I'm going to up the weight a little bit, go a little bit thicker because, well, it's over 100 degrees here in the summer in Southern California and if you're going to hit the track, you're going to need that little bit thicker of an oil to ensure you have your lubrication in your engine. Um, what we end, usually end up doing is bumping it up one or two steps, as I'm going to call it. So if it's a 20 weight oil, you might go to a 30 or 40 weight oil. Uh, if you start off with a 30 weight oil, then you might jump up to a 40 or 50 weight oil. Uh, for instance, on the Miata, I run this. That's a 50 weight oil. On the Mustang, I'm actually going to run a 40 weight oil just to give that a little bit of difference. Some people might even jump up to the 50 weight oil. Uh, I would do that if it was more of a track only car, but because I am just going to tool around the street, um, I'm just going to jump up to the 40 weight. Um, big thing here is, guys, uh, 40 weight oil. There's the 10W part of it. Um, I'm not going to jump into that all that much because there's tons of videos that cover this. But don't get too wrapped up in oil conversations. Don't let people try to bully you into doing whatever they think is the best. Um, I use a product that I believe in, that engineering-wise, I believe in the people behind it. So I've used this on the Miata since I did the engine rebuild. I've used it on the Subaru a ton of time before. Um, even when we had low, pro low oil pressure problems, guess what? Pure oil price saved us more than we even know. Um, and now it's going in the Mustang. So now the Mustang's gonna get that same protection for the, from the summer heat as all the other cars. We're gonna throw it in and uh, go from there. As with every oil change, first you have to be able to get it off. All right, so this is the oil we're going to be using. We're going to be using the 10W40 Pure Oil, pure synthetic, E85 compatible, methanol compatible. It's their Elite Series, which you know means it's great. I highly recommend if you guys are going to be hitting the track, try out some Pure Oil, put it in your car, and definitely help keep that car of yours nice and protected, especially in the summer heat. All right, just like every other oil change, out with the old, in with the new. We're going to be using, like I said, the 10W40 Pure Oil Full Synthetic. So keep in mind, I also have a Mishimoto oil cooler, so I have to put in a little bit extra. I can't remember if it's one quart or two quarts extra. Um, with all the lines and so on and so forth, but just keep in mind that when you do stuff like this, do your oil change, start the car, run the car a bit, check your dipstick, then fill appropriately. Um, otherwise, you could run it a little low, not pay attention, go for a fun track day, not have enough oil in the car, not the greatest situation. But we'll get enough oil in the car, start it up, check it, check it again, and then be good to go. yourself a favor and always check underneath for when you spill. So like I said, run it a bit, then come in, check the oil level. I hate the placement of the dipstick on the Mustang. So 
So just like the Subaru, you have one side that reads perfect, the other side reads a little high, you know, whatever you want to look at it. But to me, that's about perfect. Wipe everything down, make sure she's all nice and clean. And now we're done. Just a little helpful tip, whenever you get in your engine bay to do anything, just take a look around, look for anything, any clamp that's loose, hose that's missing, anything that would be suspicious to give you some sort of reason to look and investigate. Uh, you just never know what you're gonna find. There's a ton of stuff under the hood that just comes loose when you're tracking or whatever, uh, so you consistently wanna check. There's a reason why we do nut and bolt checks between set uh, between uh, track days.